Kirtan or Kirtana, Sanskrit, kirtana, iast, kirtana is a Sanskrit word that means, "...narrating, reciting, telling, describing", of an idea or story. It also refers to a genre of religious performance arts, connoting a musical form of narration or shared recitation, particularly of spiritual or religious ideas, with roots in the Vedic Anakirtana tradition. A kirtan is a call and response style song or chant, set to music, wherein multiple singers recite or describe a legend, or express loving devotion to a deity, or discuss spiritual ideas. It may include dancing or direct expression of bhavas emotive states by the singer. Many kirtan performances are structured to engage the audience where they either repeat the chant or reply to the call of the singer. A person performing kirtan is known as a kirtankara or kirtankar. A kirtan performance includes an accompaniment of regionally popular musical instruments such as the harmonium, the veena or ektara, forms of string instruments, the tabla, one-sided drums, the mr danga or pakawaj, two-sided drum, flute, forms of woodwind instruments, and karatalas or talas, cymbals. It is a major practice in Hinduism, Vaisnava devotionalism, Sikhism, the San traditions and some forms of Buddhism, as well as other religious groups. Kirtan is sometimes accompanied by story-telling and acting. Texts typically cover religious, mythological or social subjects. Etymology and nomenclature Kirtan Sanskrit, kirtana has Vedic roots and it means telling, narrating, describing, enumerating, reporting". The term is found as anakirtan or anakirti, anakarana, literally a retelling. in the context of yajna, wherein team recitations of dialogue style and question-answer riddle hymns were part of the ritual or celebratory dramatic performance. The Sanskrit verses in Chapter 13.2 of Shatapatha Brahmana approximately 800 BCE, for example, are written in the form of a riddle play between two actors. The Vedic sacrifice yajna is presented as a kind of drama, with its actors, its dialogues, its portion to be set to music, its interludes, and its climaxes. The root of kirtan is kirt Sanskrit. The root is found in the Samhitas, the Brahmanas and other Vedic literature, as well as the Vedanga and Sutras literature. Kurt, according to Monier Williams contextually means, "...to mention, make mention of, tell, name, call, recite, repeat, relate, declare, communicate, commemorate, celebrate, praise, glorify." Kirtan, sometimes referred to as Sankirtana literally, "...collective performance." is a call-and-response chanting or musical conversation, a genre of religious performance arts that developed during India's bhakti devotional traditions. However, it is a heterogeneous practice that varies regionally according to Christian Novetsky, and includes varying mixture of different musical instruments, dance, oration, theatre, audience participation and moral narration. In Maharashtra for example, states Novetsky, a kirtan is a call and response style performance, ranging from devotional dancing and singing by a lead singer and audience, to an "...intricate scholarly treatise, a social commentary or a philosophical, linguistic exposition," that includes narration, allegory, humor, erudition and entertainment, all an aesthetic part of ranga beauty, color of the kirtana. Kirtan is locally known as Abhang, Samaj Gayan, Haveli Sangeet, Vishnupad, Harakatha. The Vaishnava temples and monasteries of Hinduism in Assam and northeastern, called Satra, have a large worship hall named Kirtan Gar, a name derived from their being used for congregational singing and performance arts. In regional languages, Kirtana is scripted as Bengali, Kirtana Nepali and Hindi, Kirtana Kannada, Kirtane Marathi, Kirtana Punjabi, Kirtana Tamil, Kirtanai Telugu. Topic Hinduism Musical recitation of hymns, mantras and the praise of deities has ancient roots in Hinduism, as evidenced by the Samaveda and other Vedic literature. Kirtan were popularized by the Bhakti movement of medieval era Hinduism, starting with the South Indian Alvars Vaishnavism and Nayanars Shaivism around the 6th century, which spread in central, northern, western, and eastern India, particularly after the 12th century, as a social and congregational response to Hindu Muslim conflicts. The foundations of the Kirtan traditions are also found in other Hindu scriptures such as the Bhagavad Gita where Krishna describes multiple paths to spiritual freedom including karma marga way of works jnana marga way of knowledge and bhakti marga way of loving devotion to god Kirtan relates to the bhakti marga tradition of Hinduism 
References to Kirtan as a musical recitation are also found in the Bhagavata Purana, an important Vaishnava text. Kirtan is often practiced as a kind of theatrical folk song with call and response chanting or antiphon. The ancient sage Narada, revered as a musical genius, is called a Kirtankar singer of Kirtan in the Padma Purana. The famous story of Prahlada in the Avatara Katha mentions Kirtan as one of nine forms of worship, called the Nava Vida Bhakti along with Shravanam listening, Smaranam remembrance, Pada Savanam service, Arkanam offering, Vandanam obeisance, Daisyam servitude, Sakyam friendship, and Atmanavedanam surrender. The so-called Naradiya Kirtan divides Kirtan into five parts: Naman (prayers), Pravaranga (spiritual lesson based on old epics), chanting Katha or Akyan (exegesis), and a final prayer for universal welfare. Topic Vaishnavism Kirtan as a genre of religious music has been a major part of the Vaishnavism tradition, particularly starting with the Alvars of Sri Vaishnavism sub-tradition between the 7th to 10th century CE. After the 13th century, two subgenres of kirtan emerged in Vaishnavism, namely the Nama Kirtana wherein the different names or aspects of God a Vishnu avatar are extolled, and the Lila Kirtana wherein the deity's life and legends are narrated. The Marathi Varkari saint Namdev c. used the kirtan form of singing to praise the glory of God Vithoba, an avatar of Vishnu. Marathi kirtan is typically performed by one or two main performers, called kirtankar, accompanied by harmonium and tabla. It involves singing, acting, dancing, and storytelling. The Naradiya kirtan popular in Maharashtra is performed by a single kirtankar, and contains the poetry of saints of Maharashtra such as Danyanishwar, Eknath, Namdev and Tukaram, learned poets from 17th and 18th century such as Sridhar, Mahipati, Moropant contributed to the development of this form of kirtan. Jagalbandi kirtan is performed by two persons, allowing question-answer, dialogue and debate. Performance requires skill in music, dance, comedy, oratory, debate, memory, general knowledge and Sanskrit literature. Training takes place at the Kirtan Kul in Sangli, the Ukhil Bharatiya Kirtan Sanstha in Dadar, Mumbai, the Narad Mandir at Sadashiv Peth, Pune and the Kalidas Mahadyalay in Ramtek, Nagpur as well as at smaller schools in Goa, Bede and Ujjain. In the early 16th century CE Chaitanya Mahaprabhu popularized adolescent Krishna-based Sankirtana in Bengal, with Hare Krishna mantra and other songs, wherein the love between Radha and Krishna was symbolized as the love between one's soul and God. About the same time, Shankaradeva in Assam inspired neo-Vaishnavite bhakti movement that emphasized Advaita Vedanta philosophy within the framework of Bhagavata Purana and Vaishnavism. Shankaradeva helped establish satras Hindu temples and monasteries with Kirtan Gar also called Namgar, for singing and dramatic performance of Krishna-related theosophy. Elsewhere, in Vrindavan of Braj region Mathura, Vallabha launched a Kirtan singing devotional movement around the stories of baby Krishna and his early childhood, in early 16th century. <laughs> Carnatic traditions In Andhra Pradesh, the compositions of Talapaka Animacharya, a 14th-century mystic, represent the earliest known music called Sankirtana. He wrote in praise of Lord Venkateswara, the deity of seven hills in Tirumala, where unbroken worship has been offered for over twelve centuries at the Tirumala Venkateswara temple. Animacharya is believed to be the incarnation of Lord Venkateswara's sword. During his long and prolific career, he reputedly composed and sang 32,000 sankirtanas and 12 shatakas sets of hundred verses. His works were in Telugu and Sanskrit. Topic: <inaudible> Bhajan versus Kirtan. A kirtan and a bhajan are closely related, with both sharing common aims, subjects, musical themes, and being devotional performance arts. A bhajan is more free form, can be singular melody that is performed by a single singer with or without one and more musical instruments. Kirtan, in contrast, differs in being a more structured team performance, typically with a call and response musical structure, similar to an intimate conversation or gentle sharing of ideas, and it includes two or more musical instruments, with roots in the prosody principles of the Vedic era. Many kirtan are structured for more audience participation, where the singer calls a spiritual chant, a hymn, or a devotional theme, such as from Vaishnavism. The audience then responds back by repeating the chant or by chanting back a reply of their shared beliefs. In Sikhism 
Kirtan refers to devotional singing in Sikhism. It is typically performed at Gurdwaras Sikh temples. Sikh scriptures and legends are usually recited in a song, to a certain raga and accompanied with musical instruments. The gurus themselves created numerous musical instruments including the dalruba, the sarangi, the ezraj and a modification of the pakawaj creating an early form of the tabla. A Shabad Kirtan refers to the musical recitation of the Guru Granth Sahib, the primary scripture in the Sikhism tradition which is arranged according to Raga. The Shabad Kirtan can be listened to silently or sung along with the gathered congregation. Kirtan in Sikh history has been the musical analogue of Katha's recitation, both preferably performed by Ragi Jatha, or professional trained performers. A Sikh kirtan is a religious, aesthetic and social event, usually held in a congregational setting on Sundays or over certain festivals to honor the historical gurus, but major temples in the Sikh tradition recite kirtan every day as a mark of daily bhakti devotional remembrance of God's name. The congregational setting is called a sangat or satsang, a word that in ancient Indian texts means, "...like-minded individuals, or fellow travelers on a spiritual journey." In Buddhism According to Guy Beck, the music tradition did not develop in early Buddhism possibly because it was considered sensual and inconsistent with its core teachings. Later Buddhism did develop monastic chanting of the canonical literature, particularly in the ritualistic Vajrayana and other Mahayana traditions. Chants, songs and plays about the life of the Buddha by the Buddhists of Bengal were called Buddha Samkirtan. Topic in the West Paramhansa Yogananda, a Bengali saint was an early proponent of Kirtan in the West, chanting Guru Nanak Dev's Hey Hari Sundara oh God Beautiful with 3,000 people at Carnegie Hall in 1923. Kirtan became more common with the spread of Gaudiya Vaishnavism by the International Society for Krishna Consciousnesses founder A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada in the 1960s. Kirtan singers have appeared in the West, such as Krishna Das, Bhagavan Das, Wa, and J. Uttal, as well as Snotam Kaur, Loka Music, Deva Primal, Jim Gelser, Jayoshna, Andra Das, Jina Sala, and Gora Vani, and as kindred spirits. Yoga centers report an increase in attendance at Kirtan, according to Pure Music's Frank Goodman in conversation with Krishna Das in 2006. Kirtan has taken on a wider popularity. There are also Kirtan singers in the West who sing authentic traditional Indian style Kirtans such as Kamini Natarajan and Sheila Bringi. In the United States case law, the term Sankirtana has also been used to refer to evangelical activities of ISKCON. Iskin had sought the right to perform Sankirtana in California airports such as in Los Angeles. The court ruled that while Iskin has a constitutional rights of protected speech, the Los Angeles airport also has a right to forbid any form of solicitation, out of a legitimate interest in controlling pedestrian congestion and reducing the risk of fraud and duress attendant to repetitive, in-person solicitation of funds by all groups including Iskin. Topic given name The male given name Kirtan or Kirtan is used in South India for females as well, particularly in Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. See also References External links The Braj Ras Lila, Darius Swan 1975. Kirtan's Call and Response Chanting draws a growing number of Washingtonians The Washington Post, Michelle Borstein 2013. Kirtan Samples, Vaishnavism, Shaivism, Shaktism, Audio Files, Shantala Music ISKCON, The Hare Krishna Movement Sikh Gurbani Kirtan, Exclusive Recordings Sikh Kirtan, Live and Recorded Curtain Songs – Free Archive of Kirtan Sheet Music and Accompanying Audio Tracks <laughs>